Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm back with another field parameters video and a follow up to the last week's video that I did about custom sort orders. Now there's another thing that field parameters can trip you up with a little bit and that's related to visual level filters. Now generally a best practice that I have is when you are using the filters pane, you will often want to use page and report level filters for the end user, but visual level filters can pop up if you click on a visual on the report page, which you can see in front of us here, and we want to make sure that those don't happen when you publish this because it clutters up and it shoves down your page and report level filters. Normally this is something that while it takes a little bit of time, you can do this by just going and clicking and using the hide icon to hide all the visual level filters. The problem if you're using a field parameter on a slicer, the visual level filter showing when you have a particular field parameter selection is only the selected metric in that field parameter. If you select another one, then you actually get a new pop-up in your visual level filters list for that separate measure. So it's kind of hidden until you change your field parameter selection. So I wanna walk you through how to kind of apply this and fix this up in Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have in front of us is a chart and a field parameter that has a metric selection. So this simply lets me select with a single value selection between sales, prior year, year over year, and a couple of other calculations. Now, as I mentioned, what I generally like to do is focus the users to be able to use filters on this page or filters on all pages. And typically, we want to ensure that if you select a visual, they don't have filters in this visual that pops up, which pushes down the filters that they would like to use and clutters up the filters pane. So normally, what I would do is hide the filters at both of these levels, and then, that ensures that when they click this and it is published to an app or a workspace in reader mode, those don't show up after publishing. Now the problem though is, watch what happens. I currently have sales selected and I have hidden sales. If I select prior year and I come back to the visual, we have a new filter on this visual for prior year sales. So you actually can miss the other metrics inside of the field parameter that is being used in the visual if you haven't hidden it. So the only way that I see to do this at the moment is you do need to hide these one at a time, but you need to ensure that the selection has been made, you hide it, you make the next selection, and once again, go hide that here. And it is a bit of a rinse and repeat, unfortunately. I do hope that some external tools someday let the automation of this happen a bit more fluidly. But once you're done with this, there we are. Regardless of which selection you have, even if I come back to sales, select the visual again, all of these have been appropriately hidden. So once we publish this, they will get an experience where filters on the visual will not show up and they'll only get page level and all pages level filters for the report between those two. And in general, hiding the visual level filters is a little bit of a pain. It's something that has to be done one visual at a time and one column at a time manually, but it does go a long way to updating the filters pane. I know there is at some point a lot of changes with Miguel's team doing updates to the canvas filters pane and visuals. So I do hope that the filter experience and the field parameter experience gets more intuitive, but this is something that is a little bit of a gotcha that I discovered through a client report. And I'm hoping that this information passed on to you will help save you the headache of experiencing this accidentally when you deploy it and maintaining that those visual level filters stay hidden. So hopefully this is something you found useful. As always, don't forget to drop some comments or suggestions down in the comment section below. Check out some of my related content over here in the upper left. And otherwise, as always, liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel helps this channel grow. And I will see you all in my next video.